Remembering the victims one day after the deadly mass shooting in Hartford County. The touching tribute as the search for answers following the tragedy continues. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. And I'm Vic Carter. A Hartford County community comes together tonight after the deadly workplace shooting yesterday in Aberdeen. It is still not known why a woman opened fire at the Rite Aid Distribution Center, killing three and injuring three others. But there were red flags. Earlier today, the victims were identified as well. WJC's Live in Aberdeen, George Solis reports on the vigil held this evening for the victims and survivors of the shooting. George? Yeah, Vic, and earlier tonight we spoke with the brother of Brenda Geary. You can imagine words hard to come by after having lost his sister in that shooting. Tonight, she and the other victims were remembered outside this church behind me. As night fell, the crowd began to congregate in front of Cranberry United Methodist Church near Aberdeen, the church not far from Thursday's deadly mass shooting at this Rite Aid distribution center. If you are struggling tonight, reach out and ask for help. This candlelight vigil that followed meant to represent light in the midst of so much darkness. The ceremony, particularly emotional for those who live through the chaos. I said I feel like I'm living out of body, uh, just looking in on the world and not really sure what exactly is going on right now. Jessica Sport and Viviana Carey were one building over from where the shooting authorities say was carried out by 26-year-old Snokia Mosley occurred. Still. Both unsure if they'll be able to work in the same complex ever again. I don't know how I'm going on Monday. <laughs> the day proving even more difficult for the brother of one of the victims of the shooting. The first few minutes I threw it was a nightmare. Suman Puri says his sister Brenda Geary had moved to the U.S. from Nepal five months ago. He says she only recently started work at the distribution center, taking the job despite family objections. My mom is devastated. <laughs> I don't know how long it will take um, for her to kind of accept this fact that she's not there anymore. Geary is survived by her two kids, an 11 and 16 year old, and her husband. Her brother saying she was working to provide a better life for them all. She would not blame anyone, even if she knows, like, she was extremely nice. Purdy says his sister never mentioned Mosley, only now learning more about the woman authorities say is responsible for taking her life. She's gone, my sister is gone in heaven, but we. The family are paying the price. Heartbreak in Hartford County that now has some turning to their faith in an effort to heal. And the other victims identified today were Sunday Aguda, Haleen Reyes. The survivors identified as Hassan Mitchell, Wilfredo Villegas, and Pruna Akariah. Live in Aberdeen tonight, George Solis reporting WJZ.